more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. All right, y'all. Fly, Eagles, fly. Let's get down to the brass tacks of the matter here on defense. My man, Sidney Brown, I'm super excited about. Y'all know how I get with safety play. And Sidney Brown, I can see definitely being one of these guys in the long line of Andre Waters and Brian Dawkins and my boy, Malcolm Jenkins from out here in Jersey. Uh, Sidney Brown can be that Reed Blankenship, right? I'll make sure you go back and check my Reed Blankenship film study. I feel like he should have a big year as well. I feel like with Sean Desai, a lot of things can be in play. First and foremost, we have to talk about uh, his cat was hounding me uh, four or five months ago whenever Sean Desai was hired, and I talked about them running odd front alignments as a base defense, right? So we see here, right? What do we have here? You're in a 3-4, complete with a shade and everything, right? So a Sean Desai defense, base 3-4, couple of off-ball linebackers, and then you have variable safety shells. So you get the two high shells. In this day and age, you're going to want guys like Sidney Brown and Reed Blankenship who can flip each other's roles, meaning uh, defending, depending on the strength of the formation, one of these guys can work the close side of the formation. The other guy can work at depth vice versa. So we see here my man Sidney Brown with the mid-level sniff, right? You can see him creeping and probing here, creeping and probing, and then he has the reverse course here and make this tackle. Now, it still goes for a first down, but depending on the down and distance or whatever like that, uh, it wouldn't matter because he didn't get that much of a game. Look at him. Have the reverse course, sit there, probe, and make the open field stop. That's hard. Absolutely hard. Look at this, right? You get the mid-level probe here, right? So he worked mid-zone here, and obviously he can attack, or if necessary, he can get back, flip those hips, and get back at depth there. So having a guy like that who can be able to do that, reverse course, right? Be able to read there. You get a little bit of interference here from Tyler Huntley. I mean, look at my man on the hunt down, right? Hunt him down, Brown right here. And then look at this, oh my God. Wrap up tackle, right in the open field, get yourself a solo tackle, and then suplex a man for his troubles as well. Split the tire, <laughs> right, pending down. See a little bit closer right here with Mitchell coming down, and then look at him flash into the screen right here. What I say, you gotta leave a man where they stay. That's what I was always taught, playing the safety position there, leave a man where they stay, and more times than not, you wanna get them on the ground where you encounter them, right? He was out there making plays. All right, leave a man where they stand. What did I say before? Now, look at this. I love the fact that he's coming with ruthless aggression, but what does he do wrong right here? Look at this on old man Melvin Gordon right here. You ain't supposed to do that to old people like that, but look, ruthless aggression, head on the outside, everything like that, but he doesn't necessarily break down in space. Uh, he's trying to bone crush people right there, and he's doing it to old Melvin Gordon, having him flying in the air and shit, and fertilizing himself right there. Melvin Gordon, he was done, right? He probably got a 3% grade concussion in the air and then his shit finished it off when he finally hit the ground. But you wanna break down his space, right? You wanna come come to balance before you might make a tight tackle and uh, you gotta come to balance and then strike with it right there to, to really lead someone where they stand there. But hey, this man's coming physical. You gotta love that right there. And Melvin Gordon, not so much. Bang. We downtown. All right, check this out right here. This was ran to perfection. They're still in their base defense here. Uh, you're going to get a vertical route here by the tight end. And you're going to get a flat route here by the running back. Also over here, you'll get a crosser, right? So this is where the cheese is made right here. This is where the ball is going right here. I think it's kind of a vertical route out here, right? So. These guys are running, working with that five-man front, so they're going to be in man coverage right here. So this is meant to straight up fool somebody who doesn't have FBI. So he's going to originally take the assignment, which would be the back out of the backfield here. But then he has the double back because the wires get crossed on the second level. I'll run it and show you here. Look at this. All right, takes the flat, and then look at him have the double back right here and get to the ball carrier. That's hard. That's keeping your head on the swivel right there, and he ends up making the tackle. You know what happened right here? He did his job 
these guys didn't do their job on the inside right here. They're probably supposed to banjo this, meaning it's man coverage until someone comes in your area. So instead of you guys both trying to cross face right here because they're running this mess route, right? They're running this mess concept. The two guys going like that. And then um, they want to have you interfere with yourself. All you would do is stay, stay the course here, and you would take this guy on the outside here, and he would take this guy on the outside there, and you'd be all in the game there. So he's able to keep his head on the swivel, he being Sidney Brown here, work with his man on that wheel route, and then come back and make that tap. All right, this time Brown's rolling to the post. You're going to get exit plan right here by your man Tyler Huntley. He's going to have to hunt him down in the open field right here. So this is stuff that I, I noticed, right? Come down, break down in space. Uh, not exactly there, but he still makes the tackle, right? Nobody gets past him. He makes the tackle each time, but sometimes it's going to be a little better than others. He's coming with such reckless abandon that sometimes he doesn't necessarily break down in space. But as you can see right here, he's still going to make the tackle, though. This kid's going to have a lot of tackles when he gets a chance to play full time there. No doubt about that. But you got to let me know what you think about uh, sometimes not breaking down in space or just really just honing in on somebody with reckless abandon. I love both ways there. Pause. But I think definitely you want to break down in space more and leave a man where they stand. All right. Once again, coming from the post, this time he's driving on a ball carrier and you get a little bit of the same right here. Reckless abandon. Look, work to the post, come down here, and uh. So he made the tackle. One more game right here. Uh, so technically, he did make the tackle. He got a lot of the, the, the um, thigh pads there. Head on the outside, right, so he don't break his neck, right? He don't break his neck and be having to piss through a tube the rest of his life right there. So that is good, coming with that reckless abandon there. But not necessarily wrapping up on something like this. So the running back still gets an extra couple of yards there. but. He did still make the tackle right there. Man, I love coming with that reckless abandon, though. That shit looks hard out there. No doubt about that there, but probably want to be a little bit more efficient, if you get what I'm saying. All right, I ain't got to tell you people, playing in a slot is extremely hard. An infinite amount of space. Uh, guys have a two-way go, and you know uh, they can run all different kind of routes with different transitions in them. Mario Goodrich right here out of Clemson. That boy played this shit to perfection look at this look at the patience in the feet here look at the transfer of energy to the hips and then splock a tire look at that that shit was nice man patience great base width here right he's ready to go wherever you go right there he's ready to go my buddy right and look at this no false step in the transition Put that foot in right there, stick it, and then immediately flip those hips. Come on, man. This man's got some fluid hips working in the slot right there. Looking like a, a, a little Jalen Mills out there. Look at that. And then, uh, oh, my God, I love good DB play, man. I love great defense. And uh, obviously, uh, we should have a great defense next season or this coming season right here. And uh, man, it's going to be one of those drawings where one hand washes the other, both wash the face. Um, that front seven is going to be nasty. But there are going to be some players on the back end where it looked like that could be much to the detriment of the team. A lot of guys with some inexperience there uh, as far as Reed Blankenship, Sidney Brown goes. But then you add in a guy like Justin Evans, who was being very physical in this game, reminded me of the old Justin Evans from Texas A&M. And then my boy Terrell Edmonds from the Hokies. Uh, Y'all better watch out for Terrell Edmonds. He was doing his thing as well. But uh, let me know what you think about Sidney Brown's debut there. And uh, talk the technicality portion of that, of breaking down the space and all that. All right. It's your boy Jersey Murph, a.k.a. Mid-Atlantic Murph, a.k.a. The Underground King. As always, big salute out there. Make sure you tip your way to hit that thanks button because you know I be serving that hibachi. Salute. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.